The acidity of a substance is measured by using the pH scale, which consists of 14 numbers. 7 is the neutral point. Acidity increases from 7 to 0, whereas alkalinity increases from 7 to 14. The pH scale is a logarithmic scale, which means, for example, that a pH of 5 is 10 times more acidic than a pH of 6, while a pH of 2 is 10,000 times more acidic than a pH of 6. The pH of rainwater isn't 7 or exactly neutral, but somewhere between 5 and 5.5. This is because water molecules in rain droplets react with carbon dioxide in the atmosphere to form carbonic acid, which is a weak acid. So how does acid rain form? If sulphur dioxide and nitrogen oxides are present in the atmosphere, they react with water, oxygen and other chemicals to form sulfuric and nitric acids. These acids then mix with water and other materials and fall to the ground in the rain. Sulfuric and nitric acids don't just reach the ground in rain, but also in snow, fog, hail and even dust. Where do the sulphur dioxide and nitrogen oxides come from? Burning fossil fuels to generate electricity and the exhaust gases of our cars account for most of the sulphur dioxide and nitrogen oxides in the atmosphere. A minor contribution comes from volcanic activity. Acid rain has a pH of about 4, which makes it about 10 to 31 times more acidic than normal rain. Although a pH of 4 isn't considered to be strongly acidic, it's strong enough to damage structures made of steel and stone on prolonged exposure. The pH range within living things is mostly very narrow. For example, the pH level of human blood is normally between 7.35 and 7.45. If blood pH drops below 7 or rises above 7.8, it can be fatal so just a 0.35 change in pH can kill us. Not surprisingly then, acid rain can kill plants and organisms in aquatic environments. Walking in acid rain isn't any more dangerous for people than walking in normal rain. However, if acid rain occurs, that means there are sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides in the atmosphere. These gases can react in the atmosphere to form fine sulfate and nitrate particles, which people can inhale into their lungs and may cause heart and lung disease. Acid rain also removes minerals and nutrients from the soil and releases aluminum, bound to soil particles and rock, in its toxic dissolved form, making the soil barren or unproductive. Everything in an ecosystem is connected. If something harms one part of an ecosystem, it can have an impact on everything else. So, we need to protect the planet to protect our future.